we steamers? It's Sheila Kay here, and I'm so happy you've joined me today. Come in close, because we have a special song to sing together today. Can you guess what this song's about? Here's a clue. It's about a small, round food that looks like a cupcake that you eat for breakfast. Have you guessed? Right! This song is about muffins. It's kind of a silly song called Where's the Muffin? Listen, here's how it goes. Do you know where the muffin ran, the muffin ran, the muffin ran? Do you know where the muffin ran? He escaped again today. Oh, I know where the muffin ran, the muffin ran, the muffin ran. He's riding with the gingerbread man. They hopped the midnight train. Sing it with me this time, okay? Here we go. Do you know where the muffin ran, the muffin ran, the muffin ran? Do you know where the muffin ran? He escaped again today. Oh, I know where the muffin ran, the muffin ran, the muffin ran. He's riding with the gingerbread man. They hopped the midnight train. Thanks for visiting today, guys. Big hugs. We'll see you again soon, we hope. And thank you, everyone, for singing that silly song with me. So we just sang a song about a muffin man and his friend, the gingerbread man. But I was wondering, do you like muffins? Wow, it sounds like a lot of you do. I was also wondering, do you have a favorite kind of muffin? Oh my goodness, lots of different favorites. Blueberry muffins, chocolate chip muffins, walnut muffins, banana muffins. Oh, so many different kinds that you like. But I was also wondering, where do we get muffins? Yeah, you're right. We can get them at a bakery. Or we can get them at a grocery store. Or we can bake our own at home or at school. And you know, if you're going to bake muffins, you always need to have an adult's help, right? Just to be sure that you're safe. Especially because when we bake muffins, we need to use an oven. And the oven can get very hot. So you want to be sure that you're safe. And there are so many things we need to have when we're going to bake muffins. Can you think of some of the things we need? Well, you're right. You need some directions. So first, we need to have a recipe. And the recipe is the list of all the items we need, the tools we need, the food ingredients we need, and how we need to mix everything together to bake the muffins. And let's look at all the things we need if we want to bake muffins. So, hmm, so many things, right? Well, how about a mixing bowl? We've got to put all the ingredients in the mixing bowl. And one tool we need would be a mixing spoon, right? To mix everything around. And there's some other things we need, other tools, like some measuring cups, some measuring spoons when we're mixing everything. Well, we would probably need some flour to mix muffins, sugar, some milk, an egg. You might need two eggs, some spices like salt, some nutmeg or some cinnamon, raisins, walnuts in your mix. There's so many things that we need when we're mixing everything together too. So you're mixing everything together in your big mixing bowl. And when everything is together, we call it a batter the muffin batter, and usually the muffin batter gets kind of wet or moist. So that's my next question for you. Why does the muffin batter get moist or wet? How does it get that way? What are your ideas? Here we go. One idea is when you add milk, it's going to make the dry ingredients kind of wet. It's going to make it change. And something else that might make it moist would be the egg. When you crack open the egg, that makes it moist too. So now what's next? You've got all your batter mixed up and then you need to put the muffins somewhere, right? Well, let's look at this. So one thing that you're going to need is a muffin tin. This is kind of a regular sized muffin tin. And one other item you can use 
is a muffin liner. So you can put the batter inside the muffin liner so you don't have to put any other special ingredients in each little cup. So that's a regular size muffin tin, but I wanted to show you another one. If you want smaller muffins or mini muffins, here's a mini muffin tin. You can use that too. And here are some mini muffin cups or mini muffin liners that you put the batter in. So now we know that you put the batter into each cup and then you have to put it in the warm oven. And then you have to wait a little while, right? Usually about 15 minutes. And 15 minutes might be like about as long as a group time at school. Or maybe if you're listening to a special story and you like it so much, you want to hear it one more time, about that much time it would take to, ma to bake some muffins. And then they're all finished and you bring them out of the oven. But we have to remember one other thing I almost forgot. We need to have hot pads so that when we're putting the muffins in the oven because it's so hot, you need to keep these on your hands so you don't burn your fingers when you're putting the muffin tins in and when you're taking them out when they're all done and baked. And when they're all finished, you give them a little bit of time to cool off, maybe on a counter somewhere, and then you get to taste them. Say yum yum with me, yum yum, yummy in my tummy. Talking about these muffins is really making me hungry. Is it making you hungry? Wow, we talked about so many things about muffins today, everyone. I hope you get a chance to bake some muffins sometime soon and maybe share them with your family or friends. Do you think you'll do that? I hope so. Wow, we learned so many things about muffins today, we steamers. We sang a silly song about muffins. We talked about our favorite kinds of muffins. We talked about where we can get muffins. And we talked about how we can bake muffins. Lots of ways to do that. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope I'll see you again soon when we sing another song or we'll read another poem together again soon. But now it's time for our special way to say goodbye. I'll say it once and then you say it back to me, okay? See you later, alligator. In an hour, sunflower. Bye-bye, butterfly. Bye.